Oxford Islamic Studies Online is a major access point or portal to information about Islam and the Muslim world. And what's unique about it is that there, certainly with the internet today, you can get information on Islam and the Muslim world. But what you have here is a very, not only comprehensive approach in the way that, that we've grown it, that Oxford has grown it, but also that it's a trusted portal because Oxford, Oxford University Press uh, has a prominent name, a cachet. And so when people want information on the internet, they can go right there. And what makes it even easier is that we have collections of encyclopedias and books and artwork. So it's a, it's a fairly comprehensive place to go to and you can trust it. In the old days, you were dealing with books. Now you can go to Oxford Islamic Studies online and in one place you can have access to multiple encyclopedias, histories of Islam, and at the same time if you want to see, for example, the primary sources, you don't have to look to another place, but in fact you have access to primary sources. If you're interested in the Quran, you not only have access to the Quran, the, the, the scripture of Islam, but we have multiple translations of the Quran, and in fact you can actually look at translations side by side. If you want to know how uh, Islam spread, you have access to maps, you have access to uh, pictures that, that show you uh, the history of Islam in different countries. I think one of the things that we've been able to do with Oxford Islamic Studies Online is not only to have the reference works, but, but the fact is, again, in the old days if you had reference works and they were hard bound, you know, you have books, uh, okay, they were done, they were timely. And then often they could have a shelf life of 10 to 20 years because it would be too expensive. And so things don't get updated. And so if you're uh, a researcher, it means that you use this, but then you don't know whether you should be going to a lot of other places. Now what we do is we take regularly, we take major articles and we have them updated. We also, uh, as it were, update information by also in light of contemporary political events, historic events, doing special coverage. If it's around the fasting month of Ramadan, what is Ramadan about? Uh, with the Arab Spring and the overthrow of governments and new governments coming in, we've had series of articles explaining why did this happen, what's happening, what are the issues. So there's a constant process of uh, reflection and examination in order to, in order to keep this as, uh, as timely uh, a reference point. We're looking at a major watershed movement, no, ha no matter how it goes, in which issues of the relationship of, or question of the relationship of Islam to democracy, of uh, the role of, of religion and politics in society, uh, its impact on, uh, on women, um, the, the question of uh, Muslim-West relations, uh, all of those remain everyday issues and concerns. And I think that Oxford Islamic Studies Online will continue to be the place for most people to go to if they want to find an authoritative interpretation.